Acetylcysteine is available under different brand names as per region, most common brand names are NAC, NAC Sustain, Mucamist, Acetidote, Parvalex, Fluamucil, Nasal, Gluten and Mucinac among others. Welcome to Med Archive, in this video, we'll explore what acetylcysteine is, its primary applications, recommended dosages, and potential side effects. Acetylcysteine, also known as N-acetylcysteine NAC, is a medication with mucolytic, mucus thinning, and antioxidant properties. It's derived from the amino acid cysteine and is available in several forms, including oral tablets, inhalation solutions, and intravenous IV formulations. Acetylcysteine uses for paracetamol acetaminophen overdose. Acetylcysteine is most commonly known for treating paracetamol acetaminophen overdoses. It works by replenishing glutathione, a substance that detoxifies harmful compounds in the liver, thereby preventing liver damage. For chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and other respiratory conditions. Mucolytic agent. In respiratory conditions like COPD, bronchitis, and cystic fibrosis, acetylcysteine acts as a mucolytic, helping to break down and thin mucus, making it easier to clear from the airways. Typically administered via inhalation for direct effect on the lungs. 4. Oxidative stress. Acetylcysteine's antioxidant properties make it useful in conditions associated with oxidative stress, such as certain liver diseases and in some cases, psychiatric disorders like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. 4. Renal protection. Contrast-induced nephropathy. It's sometimes used to prevent kidney damage caused by contrast dyes used in imaging studies, although this use is somewhat controversial and not universally accepted. Acetylcysteine general dosage. The dosage of acetylcysteine varies widely depending on the condition being treated. For paracetamol overdose. In oral form, a typical regimen involves an initial high dose followed by lower doses over the next few hours or days. For example, an initial dose of 140 mg per kilogram, followed by 70 mg per kilogram every 4 hours for 17 doses. In form of IV, a typical regimen involves a loading dose followed by continuous infusions over several hours. For example, a loading dose of 150 mg per kilogram over 60 minutes, followed by 50 mg per kilogram over 4 hours, and then 100 mg per kilogram over 16 hours. For respiratory conditions. Inhalation, dosages can vary, but a common regimen might involve inhaling 3 to 5 milliliters of a 20% solution 3 to 4 times daily, or as prescribed by a physician. Acetylcysteine side effects. While acetylcysteine is generally well tolerated, it can cause some side effects. In case of oral or IV form common side effects includes nausea, vomiting, rash, and a slight risk of anaphylactoid reactions, a type of severe allergic reaction that is similar to anaphylaxis but not mediated by the immune system. In case of inhalation, bronchospasm, tightening of the muscles around the airways, especially in individuals with asthma, unpleasant odor, and throat irritation. Acetylcysteine is a powerful and versatile medication with several important uses, from treating paracetamol overdoses to managing chronic respiratory conditions. However, like all medications, it must be used under proper medical guidance to avoid potential side effects. Medarchive does not assume any responsibility for any aspect of healthcare administered with the aid of materials provided. The information contained herein is not intended to cover all possible uses, directions, precautions, warnings, drug interactions, allergic reactions, or adverse effects. The information provided on our web or videos does not endorse drugs, diagnose patients, or recommend therapy. If you have questions about the medication you are taking or want to start as treatment, check with your doctor or medical healthcare provider.